organisation is a key element of Final Cut. Not the least of that is what do you do with the completed videos? They need to be archived and on that basis you will probably need to have a number of hard disks to store that footage. What we're going to look at here is how NeoFinder works. You can use it for free on 10 external disks and then it's $40 US to purchase. Now NeoFinder is an application that remembers the content of all of your hard disks in an index format. Before we go to look at NeoFinder, let's just consider what we need to do in Final Cut before we go to archiving. If we select the library we're working in, probably you'll want to delete your generated project files. That's the render files. They take up space and providing you have the original media, Final Cut will let you do this. The benefit here is that should you bring that project back into Final Cut to work with again in the future, those generated or render files will be recreated by Final Cut. And then we need to consolidate any media that may be outside of the Final Cut library. Then it will ask you whether you want to consolidate your optimized and proxy medias. And you'll notice up here in the top left hand corner, the progress bar is showing in the media management that it's consolidating the media. So what it's doing is it's dragging all of the files outside of the library and putting them into this library that you've selected here. It doesn't tell you that it's done it other than a little tick mark here or check mark here. So the trick really would be to go back and select consolidate project media and do it again and then it tells you there are no files to consolidate. You should do the same thing with your motion content if you've been using motion. So any files created in motion will be brought into this library as well. So the library is complete and independent and you're able to archive it by dragging it to your hard disk. You go to NeoFinder and selecting it you can see your library of disks and by clicking on any of these disks here, you can see an index of what's on those disks. It just shows you the names of the files, meaning that you can then attach that disk and access those files. Now, if you don't know where they are, you can simply type in here, and let's type camera. And it does a little search up there, and now we can see it. there is a Final Cut bundle or a Final Cut library. And it's on the three terabyte in this folder. So by clicking on the three terabyte, we can come down to the Stacy folder, and there is the Final Cut library. So at this stage, you could do two things you can access it from that hard disk once you've attached it. Or if it's an old style hard disk, USB or something like that, maybe a good idea to copy the library to one of your working Thunderbolt disks.